there's another question that came on the Facebook just now from Sheikh Furqan. Why Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, did not do miracles like the previous prophets? To say that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, did not do miracles is totally wrong. There are various miracles that the Prophet did. For example, the Prophet, he split the moon. It is mentioned in the Quran, Shakkul Kamar. And even scientifically today, if you do research, you come to know that the moon has got fissure. They don't know what the reason is. But since the Quran says about Shakkul Kamar that the Prophet split the moon, there's a book written which talks about the miracles of the Prophet. And there are a couple of hundred miracles mentioned in that. That the Prophet spoke to animals, the tree came and shaded the Prophet when he was going for the call of nature. There are various miracles. But, but we Muslims don't boast of these miracles. The reason we Muslims do not boast of these miracles because at the time when the Quran was revealed, it was not the age of miracles. Previously was the age of miracles at the time of Musa alayhi salam, at the time of Isa alayhi salam, and there are many miracles which are mentioned in the Quran. Even the Prophet did miracles. But all the miracles that were done by the earlier prophets, you cannot prove it now. For example, Musa alayhi salam is split the sea. It's mentioned in the Quran, we Muslims believe in it. Can we prove it logically, scientifically? Did Musa alayhi salam split the sea? We cannot. Isa alayhi salam gave life to the dead. It's mentioned in the Bible, it's mentioned in the Quran. Can I prove it today he gave life to the dead? Without doubt, no. Prophet split the moon. Can I prove 100% scientifically? No. I can give, okay, there are indications that there is a fissure in the moon. It may be because, but no. So the miracles are things which science cannot justify at that time. So what was the miracle that time may not be a miracle today. What we have to analyze today, the miracle of the miracle given to the Prophet Muhammad was the glorious Quran. Quran is the miracle of miracles, which can prove itself at that time can even prove today. And if we analyze Quran has proved itself with the word of God in all the ages. When it was revealed, it was the age of literature and poetry. Previously was the age of miracles. Quran is the miracle of miracles. When the Quran was revealed, it was not the age of miracles. It was the age of literature and poetry. The non-Muslim, the pagan Arabs, at that time Arabic was at its pinnacle. The moment they heard the verses of the Quran, they realize this cannot be from any human being. The way it is, the words, it has to be from God and they accept Islam. Today is not the age of literature and poetry. If I say in a very poetic fashion, the world is flat. Will a modern man believe? The answer is no. Today is the age of science and technology. Today if we test the Quran with science and technology, you can easily be satisfied that there is not a single verse in the Quran which is against established science. And though the Quran is not a book of science, S-C-I-E-N-C-E, -E -E, it's a book of signs, S-I-G-N-S, -S. it's a book of ayats. And there are more than 6,000 signs, 6,000 ayats in the glorious Quran, out of which more than a thousand speak about science. And I've given a talk on Quran and modern science, compatible or incompatible. If you put the test of science to the Quran, Quran is the only religious book on the face of the earth which passes the test. All the other religious scriptures, they will fail the test. And later on, there may be another age, we don't know what age it will be. So Alhamdulillah, Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave the miracle of miracles to Prophet Muhammad And Allah says in the Quran in Surah Ankabut, chapter 29, verse number 48, that we gave the book to a person who is unlettered. The Prophet was unlettered. He could not read or write. So that even the blabbers of vanity would not object. That means this Quran, no one can say that the Prophet is authored. He saw to it that the last and final messenger was unlettered. So that no one could lay an allegation that the Prophet wrote the Quran. No, Billah. Even the most intelligent man cannot write. But even that smallest excuse, hardly big enough to hang a fly, Allah did not give them. So that is the reason, Alhamdulillah, the greatest miracle actually was given to the Prophet, that is the Quran, which can not only be proved that time, it can be proved today and will be able to be proved to be the word of God till eternity, inshallah.